representing in Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais. Representing Gracie Baja, Felipe Pena. Felipe Pena Preguisa makes his return to the Who's number one stage. Last event, he was battling with Nicky Rod. Now he's going to face his teammate in Heisem Rita. Yeah, Felipe, we know him very well, how talented he is. I like to say he's very good at creating this sort of controlled chaos in these leg entanglements -y positions, bear trappy positions, and working from there. So, And I, I think he's going to need that against a guy as explosive as Rita. And out of the red corner, training right here in Austin, Texas, representing B Team, Heisem Rita. Heisem Rita relocated to Austin, Texas a short while ago, representing the B Team, one of the most explosive, dynamic grapplers in the scene today. Yeah, you said it best. He is explosive. Very strong, very explosive, and has a very good close guard, by the way. All right, let's take a look at this heavyweight tail of the tape. Felipe Pena, 26 years old, 6'2", weighed in at 231.6 pounds, ranked number four in the heavyweight rankings. Heisem Rita, 30 years old, 6'5", weighed in at 230 pounds. Ready. Ready. Fight! All right, I have been looking forward to this one. There's a lot on the line here. You know, uh, Pena fought Rodriguez in the last who's number one. He was originally supposed to be fighting Gordon Ryan, Heisem Rita. Uh, again, we mentioned his huge win over Cyborg at ADCC. He's had some awesome wins here at who's number one. There's a lot riding on this match. You know, Pena wants this rematch with Gordon Ryan. Heisem wants to climb the ranks. These two guys are the best of the best. I'm, I'm, I just can't wait to see it all go down. Yeah, I, I, he, Rita is a difficult task for anyone. Just to, you gotta get in and control him, really. And the fact that he's now training where I believe where his weakness was is in the legs. Yeah. And so now I'm, he's probably got that quite buttoned up or getting close to it. And so this will be a very interesting contest. Philippe, I believe, really needs to make a mess out of this and get him entangled in these bear trap situations that he likes and then, and then use that to take the back or et cetera, et cetera. We're seeing uh, Felipe Pena 2.0. We're seeing a new version of Felipe Pena, uh, a guy that's relocated to training with Atos Jiu Jitsu, uh, trying to implement he a lot of engaged. new techniques from that Atos style, training with the likes of Andre Galvão, Kainan yeah. Duarte, Lucas Barboza, guys that he was competing against years ago, had rivalries with Andre Galvão, went over there and trained. But you know, you look at Heisem Rita, this guy has the equivalent of a, a, a knockout punch you know he can hit a submission from anywhere whether it's a guillotine back take to a rear naked you know arm bar he can do it if anyone could beat felipe pena i would not be surprised if heisen rita could do it yeah like you said yeah, I, I agree he's a dangerous guy uh for anyone and so now you you've got to control him get through his guard and then work from there it's a nice wrestle up there's the guard. Like, he's a very good close guard. So this is a this is a pretty big moral victory right now for Rita, even though Pena got the takedown. Rita has a very, very good close guard. So, so Pena had that signal. Looks like he went for the body lock. There was a bit of a disconnection. He didn't have a, a good enough position there to finalize. And, you know, Rita capitalized on yeah. the whole close guard. You see Andre Galvan cornering uh, Felipe Pena, giving him some advice. Fight. Andre Galvan, as we know, one of the greatest grapplers of all time. When it comes to ADCC, he's shattered records. And now cornering his former rival and now, you know, friend, Felipe Pena. And you mentioned the dangerous close guard. It's that two-on-one grip that we see Pena, that Rita doing is what Pena has to be careful of here. Yeah, he has to watch how the legs get thrown up around arm locks, et cetera, et cetera. But Pena doing a good job of keeping his arms inside and sitting back a little bit. Keeping that chest flat. He's got to keep Heisem Rita's chest back. Yeah, that back on the ground. He's going to need to keep the back on the ground. Try to step over to open the guard. He got caught a little caught right there. Yeah, interesting little attempt there by Pena. Rita inverting now, attacking the leg. Nice little attempt there. 
kind of in that like folding pass position. Rita attacking the leg once again, wrapping it up in 50-50. And this is uh, Shades of Victor Hugo, 50-50, grabbing yeah. that opposite ankle, yeah. looking to sweep and attack the foot and knee bar potentially. That's right. Uh, it's, it's a very, very compromising position. This, this knee and, bar and, position. And this is something yeah. we see, normally see Penna do right. on his opponents. Right, so he's got, he's got that, that forearm pinned. I if, would imagine he will circle around the hip. Uh, he's got to be careful if he circles backwards any more of exposing that knee bar. There he goes. Nice little step over. Yep. As you said, circling around, getting yep. his leg. Still stuck in that 50-50 position, but uh, Pena maintaining grip control on Rita, now trying to open up the legs there. When you're stuck in 50-50, uh, Sean, should you be standing? Should you be trying to pry from the bottom position? What's the strategy there? Yeah, it's, I, I, I think sitting, if you can't pry your leg free, gets you a little bit easier time to get your knees free. To be really honest, it's, it's a tricky position. For Stop! Both parties, especially when you can throw heel hooks, but they chose to clear out. Fight! Especially without the gi, when you have somebody that's, you know, that athletic and, and fast when you don't have connection. It's very challenging to make that connection with your feet or getting a grip. You see Heizo now starting to really sweat, so this is going to be uh, pretty challenging for Penna. Had a really nice single leg up to the body lock earlier. See if he's something that he can replicate that and then just maybe think about working into a good position off of a takedown where he's not going to hug the body or give, I seem to, the opportunity to get into that guard position. We're going to go to our judge's favor in a couple seconds here. Judges, judge's favor, blue. Judges favor blue, Felipe Pena, so far. As a medium on top, now entering. Pena tried that little uh, yeah. reversal, not reversal, it's like a, kind of like a reverse inversion. <laughs> yep. But uh, it's an interesting half guard technique that I'm starting to see a lot more commonly. You see it more so often in the gi, I think, than no gi, but very interesting to see. And, and, you know, Pena is one of the guys at the, the head of the modern jiu-jitsu movement, so he's got all the tricks. He does. This three-quarter position here. Pena looking to get underneath. Look to, it looked like he was going to look like a false reposition, but whatever. Eight minutes, 40 seconds left in this match. Heisman read him on top of Felipe Pena. Pena bringing it back down. Or sorry, Heisman bringing it back down. They're trying to shoot that underhook. That, this is the movements. This is what we talked about. It's it's just like that. Yeah. One mistake or one motion or one transition Stop. too slow, and Heisen will capitalize Penalty on that. For Rad. Yeah, tried that rolling Kimura right there. Fight. Tried a rolling Kimura, but and then but didn't quite work out. Heisen picks up a penalty. So for Heisem, if he's not going to try to cartwheel over the guard, it, you got to start to put Philippe's back on the mat. So you got to have some sort of stiff arm, get him back backwards a little, so that then you can can start walking. That's fine. That's good. A good tactic. But then you need to start to create side side movement. So there he's going to try it again. It looked like almost that knee shield inversion. Sweep entry, leg entry. Eisen feels it. 
kind of up on a single leg now. Yep. Heisman's got some nice judo style t uh, counters, but Penna took him to the mat, yeah. got him right down. And this is a big mental win, mental victory for Penna, yeah. I think, you know? He's, he's able to essentially score even though there's no points, That's right. but he's getting Heisman on his back. And I think he probably feels more comfortable passing Heisman's open guard than the other way around. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he was able to keep that leg in the middle that time. Six minutes, 42 seconds left in this match. Gets around the knees now. Yeah, he's through. That's a very good position. He he pulled the, the leg up, got his hip in. Let's see how Pena elects to pass here. Love to see that. He's either got a cross face here. I'd love to see that left arm. So far, he's working a cross face. Love to see that left arm dig a far underhook, that near side underhook there. That's there. Now he's a cross face to set in. So now, down position for Felipe Pena. Katagatami. He's working a Katagatami on that far side with Carter. There it is. Yep. Walk his arm up. There's a mounted crucifix that always bodes so well in this situation when you have a person turn, he's going to try to sit to the back, but he made it. Yeah, Pena just transitioning very dominantly from mount to back. He's got the body triangle, he's got the rear naked choke. It's on. That's it. And he gets the submission. Felipe Pregisa Pena gets the win, his second win here at Who's Number One. First submission on the Who's Number One stage. Great job, uh, amazing technique. You know, it yeah. was all about that smash pass at the end, getting to the mount, getting to the back, gets the rear naked control, and gets the win. Yeah, when he gets on your back, he's he's a bit, and he's very good at taking the yes. back. So he took the back well, well, right off the mount position and sunk on that strangle. Let's take a look at the replay here. As we said, this is a big match for both competitors. Felipe Pena getting the takedown later on in the match was able to smash past that guard of Heisenrita. Worked his, look at that beautiful back take yeah. from the mound. Yep. Very, you know, not a very common thing to see. Got to the back, got that body triangle, arm around the chin, squoze that neck, and got the submission. There it is. Felipe Pena wins by submission here at who's number one. the win by submission on his path back to Gordon Ryan. That's who he's here for. Yeah. That's what he really wants. He came to Austin and he wants that match. But he, you know, Heisenrita, very dangerous opponent. Yeah, he is. So that congratulations on that win. And that's how we want to see him climb this ladder at who's number one, getting the submission. Let's kick it off to Kendall Ruzik for a word